Okay, so hi there, thanks for joining us. It's uh, Pete from Mud School here today, and I'm joined by Sean Corvell. Uh, he's on the phone from Canada. Uh, Sean's gained a legendary status as Tough Mudder's Pump Up Maestro. Uh, is that your official job title, Sean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it sounds like a pretty, pretty fun job. So, um, so for anyone who hasn't seen you in action, uh, tell us a little bit about what you what you do there for Tough Mudder. Uh, Tough Mudder, of course, a uh, huge obstacle race. Obstacle, uh, we do ten to twelve miles of twenty some odd obstacles, possibly the toughest event on the planet. And uh, I'm the guy at the start line when you come over that wall right there in the pen. You, along with 500 other people, are going to see me. I'm going to talk to you, tell you what you need to do to make it all the way through this course, bring you guys all together as a team, whether you came with them or not, so that everybody on that course is looking out for each other and you all make it in successfully. Cool. Okay, so it's um, it's not like a hardcore military um, you you must do well style speech, or is it is it kind of more of a boosting camaraderie? Um, it, it is a boosting camaraderie. I, I'm, I would be your happy drill sergeant if you would identify it that way. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. So, so have you have you been there from the beginning? How how long have you been doing this uh, the, 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 this this um, camaraderie boosting role? I got involved with Tough Motor in November of 2011. Uh, a friend of mine was doing it at first. Uh, I had a background in stand up comedy and hosting shows on television and all that and. Ooh. A friend of mine had done it first and came back, and he loved it. They loved him. And he said, Sean, then you got to try this. So my first event was in Virginia for them, and I fell in love with it immediately. Brilliant, nice. And um, so, so how many people do you think that you've um, that you've you've got ready for the event? Over a million now. Wow. We reached that million mark. So, and they all come right through. They come through me. You come through that start line. You're going to see me. Yeah, nice one. And and, and so, is, so if you were, you, you must have seen so many people, um, so many different types of people. Um, tell us a little bit about the kinds of people that take part in Tough Mudder. It's amazing because it's just like the people that you see walking around outside. Of course, the fitness people. You're an obstacle person yourself, so so you know you you have those people that are very well fit uh, in sort of in in that whole uh, um, vein of of being athletes. Uh, a lot of military uh, veterans will come through, um, uh, just for everyday mom and pop also, you know, which, which is the amazing thing about it. A lot of people, I've told the story before, a lot of people that we have are either battling cancer or kick cancer. We have people that are missing limbs, uh, some sort of amputation, they're there with a the prosthetic. Uh, people going through a PTSD, you know, uh, the post-traumatic stress disorder of some sort. So... We get all types, man. There, there's no one particular character. Yeah, this is great. I mean, we certainly see quite a quite a bit of footage of, of kind of like you say, war veterans um, doing doing the events there in the states. Um, um, to be honest, I haven't really seen enough of it here in the, here in the UK events. Um, you know, it's something that that it's it's really good to see. Is there is there anyone um, that really stands in your mind as as someone who's really kind of overcome the odds to take part in Tough Mudder? Actually, there's a lot of people when you say that, and, and I and I will talk about them in the circle at the start line. Um, we had a lady, uh, her name is Eileen Boyer, and she has uh, osteoporosis, the disease where um, her bones are very brittle. I mean, she breaks a bone if the wind blows hard. She completed the whole course. She's done this, I believe, three times now. She'll bring a team with her, and even in her team, you'll see people there missing a limb, you know, on some sort of prosthetic. And they will do the whole course all the way to the end, even the last part where we electrocute you, where we put you through the electric shock therapy. She'll go through that also to the finish line, and we always have things posted on her, too. And it's just so inspirational, and, and it's a lot of people like herself, you know, that just, that just like I said, so inspiring. Yeah, nice one. Cool. So, um... Uh, so is is this job? Is, have you have you travelled the world with this job that you've got? This amazing job you've got. So far, I've done 
all of the states. I had the opportunity to go to, go to Australia when we did our first one out there, but unfortunately I was still hooked up in, in Hollywood at the time. But I'm looking to get, to get out there, and I believe we've had some of you guys up, out in England. And um, I'm up here in Canada now. Samsung has brought us up here in Canada. They've been great up here uh, with their, bringing their experience, a, a, a more digital experience to it. So it's kind of making it fun for the runners and the participants involved. So eventually I'm going to get out there with you guys also. Yeah, it'll be great to see. Um, I mean... Uh uh, yeah, it would be good to see you alongside. I, um, I, 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 unfortunately, I don't know the name of the guy um, that, that we've got over here at the moment. And in fact, I, I took part in the, the, the first um, UK event of the season last weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, it was great. And, like, and to have... How was it for you? How was your experience? Oh, it's brilliant. Really good. I'm, I'm a big fan. And uh, yeah, the course was different to last year, which is nice to see. I, I run a lot of these things. So um, it's, it's something that will always excite me is, is seeing... A new obstacle, um, seeing something I haven't seen before, um, because it's pretty easy for for obstacle course races just to kind of churn out the same stuff. Um, so it's nice to see that um, Tough Mudder, the big boys, you know, have come back and they've 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 come back with a couple of things that have surprised me. So it's uh, yeah, oh, good, good. yeah, it's great. Yeah, they are very innovative, always on their game. Uh, it's a great company to be working with. Um, and everybody that becomes involved, like we're involved with the uh, Wounded Warriors Project, uh, again, Samsung up here, very innovative, and they're bringing great energy to it. Uh, so, so yeah, it's a tough matter. They're, they're great in that way. Cool. And you um, mentioning the Samsung thing, I was, I was reading a, a little something earlier on. Um, uh, so... <laughs> Um, for for me, someone who takes a part in a, lot, in a lot of these things, the amount of times I find myself um, in the car park, um, stripping all my muddy gear off, um, trying to get as clean as I can, I'm getting back in the car and driving home in a bit of a state. Um, I've seen there's kind of a unique thing that Samsung have set up for the course there in Canada to get everyone clean. Um, tell us about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's their power foam innovation. Now, they did this last year also when they first introduced it. it was a, uh, they call it the power foam challenge. And it was a, a big area where people, when they were done, like you said, all muddy, they get to go through this. They said there's a run through it, through the foam, and uh, uh, it'll do a quick clean off. And I told them then, no way are people going to run through that. They're going to party in this thing. And that's exactly what happened. So they're bringing it back again this year, and it's going to be even bigger. And I suspect that that's where everybody's going to be after they're done with the course, you know, sitting standing in the Samsung Power Phone, uh, getting cleaned up. Yeah, so it's, it's just like a massive phone party, right? It is. Massive. Do, do, do you have phone parties in America, or is that just something? They have found that it's uh, a way to clean you best through yeah. foam, as opposed to the liquid soapy uh Water that we use that we all use. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's just fun. Yeah, it's a cool. lot of fun, and, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, good stuff. It's good to see. Um, so, uh, uh, back to you. I mean, have you have you actually ever run the the course yourself, the Tough Mudder course yourself? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I would not. I said to everybody, I would not put you through anything. I would not do myself. Mm. And in fact, that's what's good about Tough Mudder too. Is that, uh, as far as I know, everyone that's employed by them has done the course uh, on multiple. So, so yeah, they're they're very good at that. In fact, we see Dean, our the founder and CEO, uh, you see him out at the course every now and then also. Cool, nice one. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah. Um, and and you being a, of course an obstacle guy yourself. Uh, I, yeah, I look forward to seeing you at the, one of these here in the states. Oh, I'd love to come over. Um, it's yeah, at the moment I've 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 been you know so focused on going to events in the UK. I mean. There's there's so much over here, but I really kind of want to expand my horizons. So um, one day soon, hopefully, I'll get out there. <laughs> I'd love to come to Canada actually. And so so at the moment, you're you're there in Toronto ahead of the. It's the first Canadian event of the season um, happening this weekend, right? Um, so so how's have you, have you been around the course yet? Have you have you had a look to see how it's looking? No, I'll be up there tomorrow morning. I'll be getting up there to see the course. And, and so I'll get a, a view of the whole thing. I believe they have a map online already for for what it's how it's going to be. Cool. Uh, the last time I was here, and I'm sure the reason that we came back here, Canada is one of those places, and I'm not just saying this. Uh, I, I really mean this. It's one of those places where the camaraderie, the community feel is just like perfect for these sort of events. These people just come together. They have great energy. They're always helping each other out. And everybody backs it, you know, from their sponsors, from Samsung on down. Everybody's a part of it. They're, they're, it's just so positive. So, and we'll be here for four events. We do Toronto, we go to Whistler, and Vancouver. We'll be doing Montreal, and then wrapping it up in Toronto. 
to again. Cool, nice. And um, and I've noticed that, um, well, obviously Whistler and, and also where you are there in Toronto, you're, you're, the, the events are actually run at ski hills. And um, and I know like, a, you know, in, in England here, we've we've got a fair few rolling green hills to, that kind of become enough of a challenge in their own. But, uh, uh, you know, do, do you actually incorporate some really steep slopes in the, in the courses oh, yes, there? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, the mountains, they play a big part of it. Along with the altitude, too, you know, the air gets a little thinner, and, and that will take effect if you haven't trained for that. That's certainly going to have some effect on you. Mm. And it's always great, um, depending on where you're at on the course, when you see people, they come up and you look straight at this one, this huge hill, this mountain. It's almost like a wall. And just to hear that same expression from everybody, you know, which I can't say right now, but it's <laughs> always hilarious just standing there. Everyone is like, oh, my goodness, again? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the hills that are the killer. I think it, you know. I find that I find that the biggest challenge in 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 all of these courses really is the yeah the obstacles. The obstacles are hard. They are hard. But um, yeah, if you if you're running that twenty kilometers or or uh, twelve miles or whatever, then um, it's it's the hills that are really gonna kind of weigh weigh you down and uh, and make the whole experience a lot harder. So I can imagine that being um, a bit of a next level tough mudder you've got up there. Yeah, the terrain plays a big part of it. And and I remember even in Whistler when we were there, also with the mountains up the, uh, they were also bears. Huge bears <laughs> out on the course. You know, I had a few people come in and tell me that they had spotted or they were just a few feet away from bears as they were running it. So that becomes a part of it also. Cool. <laughs> nice one. Yeah. And um, so I've got a bit of a... Uh, Actually, no, I've got a final request, but I'll do that as a final question. Um, but okay. but um, in the meantime, let's, um, uh, there's there's another thing that, that Samsung have set up there um, that I've uh, like, quite like to explain uh, because it sounds kind of neat. Um, something to do with um, you, you guys rent cameras out or you, you borrow cameras out um, so that people can take pictures around the course um, and then people who are back in the... In the event village, can can see what's happening at each obstacle. Is have I got the right kind of grasp of what happens there? Absolutely. Yeah, they will. People, the, the spectators will be able to have uh, the Samsung Galaxy camera, which they can go and, especially when they're there uh, supporting someone, they can go and they can take pictures, and then later on, like you said, come back to the base. They'll have the tough tech stop there, and people can go in there, and you'll see the pictures that you've taken. They will be posted along with uh, other pictures throughout the course because we'll have uh, Samsung ambassadors throughout different obstacles, and they'll be uh, they'll have pictures uh, of what's going on, and they'll also have little activities activities and challenges because they'll be uh, they'll have their also their Samsung smartphone, their S4, there and their rugby phones, which I got to see yesterday. A guy was showing me where he was just literally throwing this thing on the ground and no damage whatsoever. You know, drop it in a bucket of water, no damage whatsoever. So it's perfect, you know, for, for if you're going to do one of these obstacle events, you know, especially a tough mutter. Because I have people handing me their phones at the start all the time. You know, I don't know why they wait till they get to there and then decide, no, I can't use my phone. But now, now with the rugby, you can take it with you. Make phone calls while you're being electrocuted. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice one. Um, so yeah, that that brings me on to my final point because I, I I've kind of got a mission for you if you choose to accept it. Um, okay. So um so I've been to Canada a few times. Um, I'm I'm a I'm big into snowboarding. I've been to the um to the Rockies quite a few times. And and honestly, one of my highlights of going to Canada is dill pickle crisps. Those things are amazing. I don't do you get them in America as well because you're not from Canada, right? Do you get dill pickle crisps in America? Correct. Go ahead. Oh yeah, they honestly they they are the highlight. And what would make my day, and it would be great to accompany this interview, is if you could take a picture of yourself with some dill pickle crisps with one of your Samsung cameras and post it on Mudstickle's Facebook wall. That would make my day, and, um, and I would add it to this, uh, this interview, and we'll also be proving how wonderful um, Samsung's capabilities are. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> the is done. <laughs> nice one. We'll do it tonight, in fact, yes. <laughs> I'll be incredibly jealous, though. Um, yeah. I've never had it before, so you'll be getting my honest expression also. Oh, my God, you haven't tried them. Well, honestly, get along. They will change your life. You, they'll, they'll, they'll make you want to come back to Canada. 
Um, more than poutine, more than anything else, is the dill pickle crisps that will get you. Okay, I'm going on your expert advice on this. <laughs> and I will send that to you, sir. <laughs> nice one. Okay, well, thanks so much for your time. Um, it's been great speaking to you. And, uh, yeah, good luck this weekend. Thank you, Pete. Thank you very much. Again, I look forward to seeing you at one of these. Either me over there or you over here. <laughs>